Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass and in this video I'll be going over how you can add upsells to your product pages on Shopify. Overall, it's a very easy process here and I'll be taking you step by step. You can start increasing your average order value. Before I dive into it as well, if you like or enjoy any of this content along the way, it would mean so much if you could like this video as well as subscribe to the channel and that would really help us out. So let's dive into how to actually set this up. I'm gonna be using an app on the Shopify app store. This one's called Upsell and Cross Sell by Sell Easy. It lets you really easily display pre-purchase and post-purchase upsells. So for example, on our product page, we'll add a frequently bought together, as well as the ability to select different add-ons. You can easily change this to any product you're looking for. But I'll start here with just adding those to the product page making it really easy for customers to add multiple things to their cart. The great part about this app is there is a completely free plan if you do zero to 100 orders, and you're gonna get all the features in here. And it's an extremely affordable upsell app as it's not gonna take a percentage of revenue as well. So to start, all you have to do is click add app here. It's gonna bring you to the installation screen. You just wanna hit install app after reading the permissions and making sure you're okay with it. After the installation sequence is complete, you'll be opened up with the actual app menu. So what I'll do to start is it's saying to enable sell easy in your theme editor and product and cart widgets will only work when the sell easy app is embedded in the enabled theme I'll just click enable here and this will get me to the tutorial so i have to go into the theme editor here and then enable theme easy so i'll do this to start on the left hand side i'm just going to open it up in a new tab and this will be the online store section for your shopify store here and once this loads i'm going to go to customize here it should be a green button this will open up your shopify theme editor now the way you're going to make this work is go to app embeds here on the left and we can see sell easy. So we just want to toggle this on, go to the top right and hit save, and that will help enable this in our Shopify store. Before we go any further, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time analytics on how profitable your Shopify store actually is. It's gonna make it super easy to understand your business, as well as give you a variety of different detailed analytics, letting you make more educated decisions for your stores. You can add multiple stores to the same dashboard, it's also gonna sync with all your ad accounts such as Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, TikTok, and Pinterest. It also has a variety of different cost of goods sold options so you can bring all your calculations in one place. There's a 15 day free trial. All you have to do is search for ProfitCalc on the Shopify app store. There's also a link in the description of this video. Let's go through the setup instructions here to make sure we're setting everything up properly. They also make it super easy to schedule a meeting if you have any questions. So in terms of the overall setup, we want to create a new upsell offer by clicking add offer. The upsell widgets text and style can be customized on the settings, which is in the left here. And to view the upsell, visit the trigger products page and checkout. So let's start with the first one. We'll go to add offer in the top right to create our first upsell offer. I'm gonna add this as a product add-on, click set up offer, and it's gonna give me some overall setting. So I can first set up the type, the words placed on the product page, and the widget type. As for triggers, you can set it to trigger on certain product, products with specific tags, or all product. You can also manually select these products here. I'm just gonna select all products for simplicity's sake. And in terms of offerings, I'm gonna add this framed canvas on top. I'm just gonna hit add here. You can do things such as randomizing the orders as well. There's also the ability to create discounts. So you can apply discounts when multiple add-ons are selected by the customer. And you get some additional information such as the offer name, override the default widget title and the offer priority. So if you have more than one offer enabled with this app, the one with the highest priority will be shown first or be the only one shown. So I'm gonna hit save offer and it's telling me I need an offer name. This is for internal references only. And I'm just gonna say frame on all product. I'm gonna hit save offer. I'm gonna hit enable now as well, just so this product add-on is enabled. Next, I wanna go into settings as I'll do some customization on the styling. So there's quite a bit of styling options you can do in terms of which widgets. You have your product page widgets, cart page, checkout widget, thank you page widget, as well as general settings. But right now, I'll just stick to the product page widget and the product add-on. So I'm gonna hit edit widget here. So your first customization is gonna be around the position. So you can set things such as above the product form, add to cart button. You can also manually pick the elements here, such as before or after certain CSS selectors. I can show you quickly how to find those, but if you're curious as well, they do make it easy to schedule a Zoom meeting. You also get options on the layout type, the offer product click type, 
So you can see pop-up preview or open it up in a new tab. You're also gonna get different text and translations. So you can see the titles. I'm gonna say select additional products rather than specifically add-ons. And I'll leave the standard labels there. So I'll hit save. I'll just actually go and change this to above the product form, add to cart button. So if I now head to my demo Shopify store, I'm just gonna load up one of the products. I'll go to shop. The camping bag is right there and we can see select additional product. It's had the title I edited here in the theme. You can easily select this as a customer and hit add to add that product on. So when I go and add the overall product, they're both gonna be added to the cart. One thing I did mention is I'd show you how to find different CSS selectors. So what you wanna do here is inspect the element using your browser's editing tool here for the HTML. So what you wanna do is, let's say you wanna add it above this element here. You wanna look for the CSS identifier tag. So you're gonna right click and go down to inspect and this will open up the console here. And so you can see the different elements and you can see the class title is H4 and it's gonna be this accordion title here. That would be one of these CSS identifiers. It's also gonna depend on the different classes you're looking at or the different elements. So what you're gonna be looking for is going to the element you want to place it around and look at the class here. So this one is summary title. You also have different classes for quick dash add dash hidden. So you can experiment with putting these in and that will help create some identifier tags to add your elements around. It's gonna depend on the theme here in terms of how well it's gonna work and it might take multiple tries. But as always, it says you can easily schedule a call with support for this app here to help set up your positioning of your add-on elements. So this is gonna conclude the video here on how you can add upsells to your product pages in Shopify. I hope this video gave you an overall process of how you can do so. And I went step-by-step -step with Sell Easy's upsell app here. And there is a completely free plan if your store falls under that order category total. Now I'm not affiliated with this app in any way, but overall it seemed quite easy to set up for a Shopify store. Again, if you liked this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Lastly, I'll mention ProfitCalc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. You can get one-click profit calculations so you can understand the true performance and profit performance of your store, making it really easy to make educated decisions. To search for ProfitCalc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo here. Alternatively, there is a link in the description to access the app listing, or you can then get a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.